And I don't know how this happened, but it happened. Because here at Han's Garage, <laughs> where safety doesn't matter. <laughs> no sin. That hurt. Hello everyone, welcome to Han's Garage. This is my vlog. <laughs> For how much I hate working on Toyota 4 Runner. Year 2010. 2010. Is that right? It's John's car right here. This is Han's garage, <laughs> where safety doesn't matter. <laughs> and let me just show you what I've been working on. Let me just show you what I've been working on. Where safety doesn't count. So it, that's the filter you're seeing right now. In order to drain oil from the filter, you have to have that plastic piece and you have to insert it with your hands and get yourself very oily I, I don't know why I can zoom in right now, I'm sorry uh, Alright, so I'm trying to zoom in You see that plastic piece? Alright, so you have to push it all the way in and let the oil drain from the filter Alright, I'm going to show you guys how annoying it is just to get to the oil filter for this 4 runner. So you have to take this off which is held on by 4 plastic clips 1, 2, 3 and 4 Once you take this off you have to take off this panel which is held on by 7 10mm bolts There's 1, 2, 3 4, 5, 6, 7 Once you take this off You have to take this panel off Which is held on by 4 12mm bolts 1, 2, 3, and 4 And then you can get to your engine oil filter And it's really annoying but I guess this car goes a lot of off-roading Or it's meant for off-roading Just to protect the engine or anything underneath the engine bay so right now we are draining the oil and I think it's just about done right now yep I think we're done so we're going to take the filter off and then place with the new filter alright now I'm going to take off the filter housing In order to do so, you need this to take it off. So I'm going to remove this plastic clip that drains the oil. I heard if you don't have this tool, it's so hard. Really? Yeah. I bet. I mean, it was hard even with the tool, you know? Yeah. Can you imagine trying to wrench it on the it side? It's so tight. Finally. Wow. Let me get the new filter. Oh man. There's o rings you gotta replace. On this housing? On oh, the housing, see. yeah. I there's, see right here. There's two. There's two? Yeah, there's a little one and a big one. Yeah, yeah that two. wide one. This one? Yep. And then there's a small one. Oh, up top? It's this big. This is before he started making the In there. In here? I think right there. Oh, I don't even see it here. It's maybe, there, right? Maybe it came off. Really? Yeah. When okay. we took it off, maybe it came off. Maybe. Oh, here, here it is. Oh. It got stuck. Right. Oh, we don't need this anymore, right? No, you don't. You just throw that away. All right. 
put this small ring right here. You have to put oil on it. There's already oil in there, so. That's fine. You're spilling oil everywhere. Oh, that's fine. You don't care? <laughs> Hans Garage! Oil's everywhere. And then the bigger o ring on the housing. Alright. The new filter. Doesn't matter which way. Okay. Alright. So annoying. This? That's the last one. All right. This is the oil cap to the filter? Yep. Three fourths of an inch. Alright. That's it. That's it. That's it. And then we gotta put the panels back on, right? Yep. We can put the pour the oil in first. Um, Are you gonna put you gonna put the panels on first? Yeah, let's put the panels on first. I'm gonna tie, tie in that uh, oil drain plug, okay. which is I think 14 millimeter. Let's see. So the oil base. draining plug yeah. is 14 millimeter. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yo, let me get a towel. We're, we're doing all Where's the dirty towel? We're gonna do all types of rooms now. <laughs> yeah, and this should be Han's kitchen. Oh my god! <laughs> Welcome. This is Han's kitchen. Today we're gonna make chicken and vegetables. And we could do Han's backyard <laughs> for yard work. <laughs> Han's garden. I don't mind Han's garden. Yeah, you do Han's garden and Han's garage, and I do Han's backyard. I'd be a carpenter. You give you Han's grill. Han's grill. Okay. <laughs> Oh Alright, everything's ready. We just gotta put the panels back on and then refill the oil. First, we are going to install this big panel, which is four 12 millimeter bolts. Uh, first, we gotta put the clips in, yeah? Do we hook it on first? Yeah. Okay. Do I need to get under there? No, you're good. Find the hole on the top? I don't see the hole from here. Can you like come from the other side? Yeah. I don't even, I don't even know where the hole is. Hold on, I see it. That's what she said. <laughs> Goes in here. Oh, I see, I see. So we got to yeah, come from the there yeah, vertically. Okay. You see it? It's right here. Yeah, I see it. All right, she's in. This one's in. Oh, that one just. All right. All right. Yeah, let it drape then. Huh? Let it drape. See if it's it's in. Yeah. Yeah, it's in. Okay. Not against. It sure is. All right. Are these the bolts?
and then I'm going to install this panel which is seven 10 millimeter bolts and then this little one with four plastic clips maybe we put that there when uh, we thought we didn't need to take that off and we put it back in maybe well maybe you put it on there then no you did <laughs> okay so this goes reverse way isn't it no it's this way and then the oh yeah that that scoop goes into that thing, I think. Clips? Yeah, just one. Oh, there's one right here. Okay. Hans Garage, you put oily parts in your mouth. <laughs> Hans Garage, it leaves a salty taste in your mouth. Should we make a slogan, huh? Do you ever do those? No. You don't do anything? Just Hans Garage, welcome to Hans Garage. <laughs> <laughs> hello everyone, welcome. Hello everyone, you do that, hello everyone. You know, the, you know what the female version of that? What? For you two is, hey guys. <laughs> <laughs> Every girl on YouTube, hey guys. You know what's funny, Sarah? On her first video, uh -huh. she just said that. Oh, really? That was her line. Hey guys, <laughs> so today we're gonna be making turkey meatballs. Where's my gun? Right behind you. Right behind me. Man, using the gun is so much easier. Sure is, huh? It didn't even go in, right? No, it did. It did? Yeah. It's just like a plastic piece that's hanging with the clip for the screw to tighten on. That's why it looks loose? Yeah. Why not using the gun? So you can just easily mount it first. And then just hammer at the end? Yeah. I just want to make sure like they all go in first. And then it's the two skid plates, right? Mm -hmm. After this? Mm -hmm. There's a lot of parts, man. Hey, and you have to take all of these off. You have to, yeah. to get to the filter. Yeah, which is so annoying. But it's just pr it's to protect the, the pan. Yeah, that's true. Like if you think about protection. Yeah, it's a lot of protection. Hans Garage, where protection is important. Maybe. I think I need a light for this. Alright. So that's all six, right? And only this one's missing. And I can't even put this on. What do you mean? Because we're missing the head. The stud head. No, there was a seventh one. We counted. Oh no, we did. But it's not gonna go anywhere. Yeah. Okay, that's in. Let me get the small panel. The small panel. With the four plastic clips. Right there. 
Man, I'm so thirsty. You gonna piss in your mouth? <laughs> no. It's healthy. I actually did see a YouTube video of these guys drinking each other's piss. That's disgusting. You're lying. They actually found one video of um, Coca-Cola from World War II. The Coke, original Coke bottle. They drank it? They drank it. It was like half empty already. Damn. And then like the cap was like so corroded. <laughs> so the funny thing was they said the Coke actually tasted like Coke for four seconds and then it tasted like death afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah, that doesn't sound good at all. They were like shocked that it tasted like Coke first. Uh, of for four seconds. It's hard because the sugar. It just tasted like that. Oh. Alright, this one's in. And then the big panel and then the small panel. Big panel first. Yeah. Big panel, you put it over there on the other side. And this one is 12 millimeter bolts. Where is the big panel? Oh. How are you going to put the big panel with this Jackson in the way? Oh. Would it not fit? This goes over there, right? Yeah. Try to fit it here. Or we could bring it from underneath. Under here in the front. In Give the it front? to me from the front, yeah. Um, it goes this way. This long way. This way? Yeah, I think this way. No, it goes this way. Yep. Man, that was one of the hardest engine oil change I've ever done. Is that bad? Yep, keep going. All the way. All the way. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. The wheels are moving forward, you know yep, that? Yeah, keep going. Uh-huh, it should be. Really? Because your um, emergency brake, yeah, emergency brake is on. And your car is moving. Your car is not moving, it's just a jack stand. Or the floor jack. Alright, it's ready to get clear. Alright. Very, very slowly, Johnny. Very, very slow. Real slow. Yeah, it's coming down. Just let it be. Yeah. Look at you go. Pro. <laughs> Professional right here. <laughs> All the way, you can, go, you can let go now. Yeah, it's put so it down. Much lower. Mm -hmm. Wow, I thought it was a little cap. Over here. Do you go take it off? You got it? Or you need a plier? Yeah, you need a plier. Jimmy, get that um big plier? Mm -hmm. Not the small one. In the funnel, yeah? <laughs> Jamie, get the funnel. James, funnel. Where? In the corner. Black funnel. How do you clean this funnel out? With the with the towel. But doesn't just all of this filth go back into the funnel? No, it's just oil. And all the filth that will. No, it's pretty good. Creates a lot of dust. Got the fresh 520. Oh my god, look at that cooking oil right now. It's actually 020. 
Is it still Tony? Yeah. Okay. Hans Garage or Facts Not Modern. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta lift this up a little bit just to give you some air. Uh, you can pour it now. There you go. Five quarts, huh? There's two of these. Holy. I think it takes like one and change. Watch out, watch out. It's like college all over again, huh? Your engine's gonna love this. Do you know how much you're pu pouring in? No. You have no idea. So what do you you gotta check the dipstick. Right here. Okay. Alright, let's see. Five and close. It's up to... Okay, we just gotta put a little bit more. Yeah. It's good though. I, I say like one quart. Out of five? Yeah. Really? And then we'll recheck. A little more. That's good. That's like a third of the bottle. All the way in, just once, and then pull it out slow. Once is never enough, shot. <laughs> okay. Let's see. All oh, right, it's exactly perfect, actually. Really? Yeah. Right in the middle? No, right at the top. <laughs> really? Yeah. That's good. Put the oil cap, and then start the engine. Start the engine. My hands are so dirty. Let's hear that V6 engine. Shaking at all. Okay, it's so smooth. Wow, that was so annoying to do. But we did it, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Like the video, comment if you have any questions, and subscribe for upcoming videos. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. <laughs>